Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode, or another vlog, sorry. I'm used to gaming, so I'm calling this a, a, an episode like I'm playing a game. But uh, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I should vlog a little more. Um, so I got some bad news about Louise. Uh, she didn't make it. Um, I don't remember, I think it's the day I vlogged last, it's uh, the last day she was alive, so she died, where are we today, Thursday, so yesterday was Wednesday, so she died on Tuesday, so, uh, about, uh, I don't know how many hours she's lived past, like, after I left for work, but I'm pretty sure she probably died maybe, like, an hour or two after, so we, uh, we're trying to hold on, so uh, right now she's in the freezer because I'm pretty sure the ground still frozen outside so I'll make myself a French cap turn on this Keurig thingamajiggy let preheat then I'm gonna grab a Make myself some French cat. Don't be scared. I am not scared of how much I put in there. I think that should be alright. Oh, just, just a little bit more. There we go. Alright. Sugar high. Here we come. You guys watch uh, Field Days, like he says, don't be scared. <laughs> All the time he says that. Don't be scared. <laughs> Love it. Just put as much as you want. There we go. Got some water here. A little bit. Well, a little bit of water. Not that much, but it's just a little bit. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright. So, I just put this towel. Like that. And I grab a measuring cup. Put it upside down like that. And then it'll dry. Because since it's only water in there, it's technically still clean. Alright. And now, the magic begins. Maybe. A little crooked, sorry. Actually, we lift this thing up, place it back down, hit continue. We want 10 ounces. Hit the button and watch it fill. That's the cool part. Maybe I'll put my light on for that one. Oh. Okay, so it's not available while you use wide lens. Alright, fine. Fine, it's fine. It's a little better. A little bit too sad. Yeah, so Louise died a couple days ago, so... Amanda is the one that's getting uh, hit hard. No, she's the one who cried more than me. I don't know why I didn't cry, but... I mean, I cried a little bit. Or it was complete. Now it's preheating again. Shut her off. Now we wait for all the water to stop leaking. One more drop. I don't know if that was just a drop, but... I was looking at my phone. Okay. 
You want to stay there, phone? Well, we stir it all up like that. And then, I'll grab you guys, bring you with me. Go to the fridge. We grab woo, some milk. And then, bring her closer. Fill her up to the top. Just like that, right at the edge. A little more. Right at the edge. And then, Put the milk away. <sighs> close the cover, I forgot to close the cover. And then, just like that, take a sip. And that is how I make my cappuccino. Tastes very good, let me tell you, it tastes very good. Very cappuccino like French vanilla. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, so now to make breakfast. I don't even know what I want for breakfast, honestly. Oh, that is so good. God. So good. And my ears. I don't know. I could have some cereal or... But I'm having... Cappuccino. So I don't know if cappuccino and milk taste good together. We could have toast, but... I don't feel like making toast. I could just have waffles again. More sugar. What else can I do? Make sure I grab the right box. Because the other box, the other Lego box, is where Louise is. And we put, yeah, like I said, we put Louise in the freezer until we can bury her. So, she's in there. She's in there. She's frozen now. Poor baby. Anyways, so that's what's going on today. Not much. Got a work eight hour shift today. Not looking forward to it. <sighs> Especially since I'll be working alone. And I work at a gas station, so it's not a good job. It's terrible. Very bad, shitty job. So many people, so many stupid people I have to deal with every day. Nosy people, too. They want to know everything. Small town, right? So they're like, where do you live? What, uh, what do you do? Or how much do you pay for your rent? Or do you live in an apartment or a house? Plug in the wrong one. I did. <laughs> I plugged in the air fryer instead of the uh, toaster. Man, this toaster is so light. Like a freaking feather. Yeah, so my sister bought my wife an air fryer for Christmas. <sighs> it's the best decision ever. So now, wait for that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Come with me. I'm gonna go grab a plate. Look what my wife did. So we bought this thing for grip, and then we bought a little shelf thingy. So now this is more organized, and she didn't put all the mugs upside down, which is fine. I don't care. But I did tell her she should put them upside down because, well, I don't know, my house, we used to always put them upside down and keeps the dirt out of them. So I'm going to grab a plate. I'm going to smack down here. Just ignore that area. That's a dirty dish area. Close the door. Bring her over here and wait for these babies to pop. Oh, yeah. This has got to be done today, that's for sure. I'll probably do them in a little bit. I have, what, three hours till I have to go to work? Not exciting, but I woke up at the same time as my wife woke up. So, well, she wakes up at like 7.50. And then she comes cuddle me after she gets ready for work. And goes turns on the car. 
and then she cuddles me for at least 10 minutes. So around 8.15 I was up. So. And I wait for her. Oh shit. I just dropped some hot stuff on the ground. On the floor. Good thing it didn't break. We have some, I don't know why we have this. We don't even eat hot sauce. We don't even like hot sauce or anything to do with hot. But we have this in the fridge and it just fell on the floor. Thank God it didn't break. So I did not want to take care of it. Uh, ooh, the top looks broken. I don't even know how old this thing is. I feel like we should just throw it out. It looks kind of nasty though, look at it. Looks kind of old. It doesn't have a date on it. Unless this is the date, and I don't even know how to read that, but... I'll ask my wife. Because I'm okay with throwing it out. I could care less. So I don't know if she has plans for it or not. Ah. Hot. Come on, bitch. Get the fuck out. Okay. This is what I do every morning, minus the waffle part. Whoa! I don't eat food at all in the morning. Very bad, I know. I know it's very bad. I don't know how to keep my f this phone. <laughs> this thing is shit. Oh, and your guys are crooked. Sorry. I don't know how to use stuff anymore. I'm gonna put this over here. On the table. Alright. So. Time to butter. Butter these motherfuckers. But Oh, I was going to put the lid on top of the toaster. Bad idea. Because then I'm probably going to melting it. Big tub of butter. Like that. <laughs> Spread it around. Grab half of that. Shove it up. Don't be scared. I'm not scared at all. I used to be scared of how much I, I would show people how much butter or ketchup or syrup I would put. But now I'm like, I'm going to put as much as I want. And I put a lot. Like that. And then the other one. My big belly's in the way. Sorry. Look at my big belly. Mmm. <laughs> Whatever, it is what it is. I'm not scared of being overweight. Because, like, if you think about it, like, you're not the only one who has a belly in this world, you know? Like, it's part of life, too. It's normal. I don't know why people still make fun of people for being big. But it's like... It's like... Get over yourself, man. Like... This is, like, normal... Not like, I'm talking about the bullies get over yourself. Not us big people. <laughs> the bullies that are like, oh, you're so fat, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh. Well, they're... it's more like, um, sorry, I'm trying to think. It's more like, um, oh, no, you better tell Victoria her secrets out. Don't want her to... Don't want anybody to know that her secret is uh, people are fat or something. I don't know how to go, how it goes. I can't, I can't speak for the life of me. I'm terrible at speaking. I don't know how to speak words. So like, I mean, anything that comes out of my mouth, like, what the fuck are you saying? And it, and, and it comes off, it comes off as rude. And I don't even mean to make it that rude. I just don't know the proper words. Like, I'm just, I'm not a proper person. I'm a, I'm a French person, so English words are not my thing. So, like, if you want me to say something smart, you're looking at the wrong person. Let me tell you that much. But, yeah. It's basically like, oh, no, better tell her, Victoria, her secrets out. Don't want to, don't want anybody to know that uh, we're big. Because it's normal. It's part of life, dude. Get over yourself. Really. Bullies. Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about that, but... That is because I'm like, hey, look at me up, fatty. Look at my belly. Anyways. 
It's normal. Whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring my food over here. Right here. Where all the beautiful weed is. And this, and this is still uh, falling over. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is kind of a mess here. We're messy people. But also clean people at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna get my cup. Chino! Also don't need the lights no more. Alright, so. There's not much to tell you, but. Yeah. I'm, uh. Um. This is my pot. My pot. Edibles. These are nasty edibles. I'm not how much. Free rolls, all that good stuff, you know. You just weed. Messy, 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 messy. All right, can I move the table without my phone falling? Probably not. Oh my god, it did. Look at that. I freaking did it, let me tell you that much. <sighs> okay. So I like to sit down on the floor while I'm eating. Can you guys see me? I hope so. You guys can. I'm looking on my TV and it's the mirror of my TV. So, um, as you guys know, I'm not good at videotaping. At all. Not anything. Like, but I wish I was good. Um, so I don't know what to do on that part. I could keep just recording and then eventually maybe I'll be a pro one day. Man, there's also probably maybe I'll need to go to school for it. But what if I don't want to go to school? And then you thought about that. Okay. Like, you know, like, I feel like you can do anything without needing school like you know i guess i mean more like college not really like high school or elementary school you need that shit unfortunately boy did i ever hate school oh my god say my wife was homeschooled her whole life she was basically trapped in her own house she lived under a rock so to speak she didn't actually live under a rock she lived in a house in a farmhouse that is Terrible place. Um, I mean, it was home for her. But, I mean, the parent situation. Anyway, so she went to school for, like, I don't know if she went for one year and then she was out. So, she did not have a life outside of her house. And that's how she ran into two bad people. And then, then she found me and I basically saved her life. I basically, like, like she, there were so many bad people she's met. Like, she was living with a bad person before she met me. And she was still living with a bad person after she met me. So, she kept running into really bad people. I'm just like... Bad people. Like mentally bad and physically bad. A little bit. Um, so she didn't know what the good stuff was. Until she met me. Now I'm pretty normal. You might say I'm not. I don't look normal at all. But put your negativity aside for a second. I'm pretty normal. I'm a positive person. My brain's negative. But I'm a positive person. In general. I don't know if I'm still recording. Okay, I still... Yeah, okay, I still am. Okay, that's good. Because I know my phone's dying. It's probably 18% now, but... Anyway. Yeah. I don't know how we got talking about my wife. How she was homeschooled. Oh, that's because it's... Anyway, yeah, so... Once she found me... 
we had a rough beginning of a relationship, but I think all the best relationship run to a rough patch. Maybe in the beginning, maybe in the middle. Who knows? For us, it was kind of the beginning and the middle. Now, the end is more like when we got a place and we got married. That's the end. Um, the end, because now we're happy. So, happily ever after kind of thing. The end kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. So, she was living with a bad person until she met me. She's still loving that bad person. And then I got kicked out of my house because my dad was evil. And then I moved to into that bad person's place. And it was a tiny space. It was a tiny house. So it was like, couldn't even move in there. Um, so that bad person. And then I started renting a room from another bad person. She was alone. Cuckoo. Um, <clears throat> it was one of those people who are like, really bossy. Like, COVID freaks kind of, for an example. Like... If you go out, you better wash your hands before you come in, or if, um, like, anyway, she was, like, literally watching me like a hog, and I was renting a room from that lady, and then she ended up going in my fucking room, going through my shit, and then if she, like, I had Pepsi bottles in the room, and no mice is gonna go after that for fuck's sake, like, no rodents, so then she grabbed that. She went in my room, grabbed my Pepsi, took it out, brought it downstairs in the kitchen, and she says, oh, I found some Pepsi in your room. You shouldn't have it there. And in my head, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing going in my room? I rent that room. You have no right going in there going through my stuff. I didn't say that out loud because I, I was too scared to speak. Still, I'm scared to speak today, but I'm getting a little better. So she was a psycho. And then I moved to another room, <laughs> a different place. That lady was also a psycho. Like... Because, like, the other lady before, she wouldn't let me... For example, she wouldn't let me have my girlfriend over at all. We weren't married then. She was my girlfriend then. And, like, she wouldn't let anybody come in the house. Because she's like, oh, COVID, blah, blah, blah. COVID this, COVID that. I'm like, oh, my God, your life. You psycho. <laughs> anyway, so the next one. um, I had my girlfriend over lots of times because you know like I don't want to be alone and I was able to have my girlfriend over now she decided to change her mind and be like hey you can't have your girlfriend over all the fucking time and I was like are you fucking kidding me I rent that room so you shouldn't even like you know and when my my girlfriend slept over I didn't have a shirt on okay I slept without a shirt on and then once my girlfriend leaves for work I still didn't have a shirt on but I had a blanket over you want to know what that fucking lady did she walks in, turns on the light, and here I am, no shirt on, and sleeping. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck are you doing in here turning on the light? That's disrespectful. I didn't, I was naked. I had undies on, but I didn't have a shirt on. So I was like, what the fuck are you doing? So I was like, oh my god, these room people are psychos. Like, literally. Am I still recording? Okay, we're good. So then, anyways, so, finally... We found an apartment, and I was like, I don't give a fuck if we're allowed animals or not. We're fucking taking it. We took it, and then I officially told my girlfriend, she was my girlfriend then, I was like, okay, that person you were living with, you gotta get rid of her. She's evil. She's no good. Like, she, like, my girlfriend told me everything that that bitch would say. Sorry, she's a bitch. What can I say? That lady she was living it with, rent, like, living, surfing on our couch. She would, like, try to break us up, she would call me retarded, she would say that I, I won't be here forever, like, and it's not real love, like, she was like, I think she's jealous, is what I think. It, even my wife thinks that too, she's jealous because I am a better person than she is. Not my wife, the lady she was living with. I'm a better person than that lady she was living with. Because that lady was disrespectful. She would make fun of my wife any chance she got. And I was like, what kind of friend is that? That's not even a friend. That judges you. And she would bring, 
she would, sorry YouTube to say this, but she would turn my wife into a slut. Ah, like when we broke up, she would bring like a whole bunch of men over for my ex-girlfriend then to sleep with. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like that was so toxic. So as soon as we got an apartment, I got comfortable and I knew she wouldn't leave me. And that's when I told you, you got to get rid of that friend of yours because she's no good. And then she listened to me and she got rid of that friend. And now my wife is finally opening her eyes and realizing that that lady she was living with, that friend, was a toxic person and very bad. So, because not only did I see it, lots of other people saw it too. And she would talk behind everybody's back. Like, she was friends with this person for 30 years. And once my wife told that friend that that lady kept talking behind her back, that's when that lady that she was friends with 30 years from the other lady, hard to explain, but so that, so okay, so this is the bad lady, this is a good lady that we were friends with, not friends with anymore because something bad happened. Um... But yeah, so that lady stopped being friends with that psycho because she's bad. And then, uh, yeah, so. And then we stopped being friends with that lady because something bad happened. And we had an argument-ish, kind of, not really. But anyway, so now we don't, we're not friends with either of those ladies. And like, I could care less if we're friends with that lady or not. But that lady, the bad lady, oh, no, 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 honey. I do not want her in my life again. So, now, to the point I was coming at, which I don't know what that point was. But anyways, now my wife is a much better person. She's nicer. She trusts me. And she picks me every time. Like, she chooses my side. If somebody else said something bad, for an example, about me, she would choose my side. Like, before, she wouldn't. Like, before that bad lady she was living with was, like, her go-to person. Like, I would come second every time. But now I come first. And now since I'm her wife, the fucking right, I better come first. So, <laughs> now I come first. And it makes me feel a lot better because now I trust her. I trust my wife now. And I trust that I can talk to her about anything now without her going to tell her that bad friend. And uh, so now we finally have a... Uh, a, finally a private life together because before it wasn't private because of that bad lady so now that that bad lady's gone we have a much happier better life so i guess that's another update video apparently but yeah anyways so my point is i don't know how i started talking about that but my point is I want to do this. I want to vlog. I want to game. I don't want to go work at a retail job and deal with people. And some people are so disrespectful. And they don't even say hi. It's like I'm not asking for a whole conversation. I just say hi. Hi, how are you? Cool. What do you want? Cigarettes? Cool. I give it to you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not like saying hi. I want to get to know you. Let's be friends. Come over. Let's hang out. Like, like some people just come in. They be like, oh, pump five. They're like, hi to you too. Okay, pump five, sure. For an example, because gas, pump five. You know what I mean? <sighs> I don't want to do that job. I want to do this job. I feel like this job is more positive. And I know you eventually, maybe, I don't know, you guys look up to me. Weirdly, how that sounds, but I guess that's how... YouTube works, you end up looking up to that person you're watching, I guess. I don't know. Am I being weird? Probably. It's because I'm not used to this, so I'm not famous yet. Which is kind of scary to think about. Famous. Woo! Anyways. But at least those people will say hi. And be like, how are ya? We miss you. When are you playing a video? We can't wait. You know what I mean? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Instead of being like, oh, you're just a child. Like, the other day, when was it, on f uh, Monday? Monday or Tuesday, a customer, okay, I've never seen before, so it's a, 
well, we call them tourists because they don't they're not around here they just visit this area but this person had the audacity to ask me if I'm old enough to sell beer I'm like so I said no I'm only 19 which I should have said 18 because 19 technically you can't so, so I fucked up on that part so but anyways they were like but I said I'm just kidding maybe I should have said no like it 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 really I know I have a young face. It's not my fault. It's my dad's face. Okay. I'm 23. I promise you I'm an adult. Young adult, but I'm an adult. I'm not a kid. My general customer calls me kid and I hate it. It's like I'm not a kid. I know to you I'm a kid because you, you're a parent and your kids, well, I think their kids are like in their teenage years now, but still, you know, like I'm not a kid. I'm a young adult. You should be treated like a young adult. Not like a kid. But anyway, so I was super offended when that person said that. I was like, maybe I should have just said no. But I'll, I can serve you because my co-worker is busy at the moment. Or I could have said, of course I'm over 19 or I wouldn't be working here. But anyway, so I was really offended by that. And I'm not okay with that. And a lot of people assume that I'm a dude. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of customers know me and they're like, Hi, dear, how are you? Like, they say appropriate words. Like, dear, or the some old ladies, they call me hun. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with hun if it's a dude. But they say, hi, my dear, how are you? Or, have a good day. Um, I don't know what other words. Madam? Miss? I know a customer calls me miss. Um, but yeah, so I'm okay with that. Just I'm not okay with babe because I know there's a customer that calls me babe and I hate it so much. Like, I told my wife that and she was like, what? Nobody calls you babe except for me. So she definitely wants to tell that guy off. I'm like, go for it. <sighs> but he's so, you don't know, he's so, he's just, you gotta watch out for customers. Some customers are very inappropriate. But anyways, a lot, of, a lot of people assume that I'm a dude right away. Like, I know I look like a dude, but it doesn't mean you get to assume that I'm a dude. That doesn't mean you get to say, thanks, man, right away. Like, I call my best friend man, but that's different, you know? Like, because I know she's a girl, she knows I'm a girl. It's like a best friend thing. You call your best friend man, even if they're a girl, you know? But anyways, so customers, they... They call me son. They're like, thanks, son. And I'm like, maybe I should just say, I'm not a son. I'm not a guy. Sorry, I'm a girl. But I let it go because I'm like, I don't even care. Just go. Go away from me. I don't care. Because <laughs> I I don't hate people. But for in, in other words that I can't think of right now, I hate people. Um, And what I mean by that is I don't mean like, Every person I see, even if they're nice to me and they're, like, excited to see me, I'm like, ugh, I hate you. No, I'm not like that. I mean, because I have social anxiety, I'm like, people scare me and I'm like, no, go away. I don't want to deal with you. Ah, kind of thing. Not like actually hate, hate, like, oh my god, hate. But, like, you know what I mean. So, make sure I'm still recording. I'm still recording. Ah. Um, I don't know how long this has been, but this is a really long talk. I hope you enjoy this kind of videos. I'm sorry if I'm boring. And I'm, I'm my, my food's probably cold now. Let me just shove this in my mouth. Ah. Oh, I got some maple syrup under my lip. Yeah. Now my face is going to be sticky. Oh. Anyway, so that's moment my current life is. I work at a gas station and... And I always work alone. Like, I have nobody with me. And Thursdays and Fridays are the worst. And Thursdays, I'm usually alone. Fridays, if I'm lucky and my coworker's not sick, then I get her till 5 o'clock. But it's still not long because I still have 5, 6, 7, 8. I still have 4 hours alone on a Friday. And that's really bad. Now... Because I'm working 1 till 9 today, um, that would be, it would be 4 hours. I'd be alone. But, today is Thursday, so my co-worker is done at 2. So I'm going to be alone for 7 hours instead of 4. 
it's on Friday that I'll be alone for four hours. Because Friday I'll be working one till nine as well, which is technically tomorrow. I should just say tomorrow. And she's working, I don't know from what time, but she's working till five. But that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I close at nine. Well, technically I close at 8.50, 10 minutes before 9. But that's because it's not my store and I want to be out of there by 9. And I don't want to be stuck with customers past 9 o'clock when I should be closed. You know what I mean? So, 8.50. So, it's eight, <clears throat> technically 3 hours and 50 minutes. I'd be alone. But that's still, that's still a lot. Because there's still, like, sometimes people come in at 8. And I mean, like, a fuck ton of them come in at 8. Like, it's... And it's, I can't handle it. So my wife, best wife ever, ever since she finally got rid of that bad person and the other person, like the other person, she's a good person, but every time, like almost every day, she would say, can you come over and help me or can you talk to me? Like, instead of spending time with me. She'd always go somewhere else and waste gas, waste a car, because we don't have enough money for another car. Oh, but speaking about car, let me tell you, all there's good news about the car. Not that car. But um, because we don't have enough money for another car, that one probably only has a year and a half or two left. And if she, because she was still friends with that lady and that lady, she was wasting the car. Because she was always going there every day or going there every day. Since she got rid of that person, she would go over there every day. Well, not every day, day, but almost every day. So that's a boundary that she's crossing. It's her own boundary that she's crossing and my boundaries that she's crossing. Because her boundary is she shouldn't have to go to her friends every day. Like, her friend can live without her for a day, or for a week, in fact. Like, you don't see me going to Dakotas every day. Or you don't see her coming here every day. Like, we take breaks. Like, we'll hang out for a bit. We'll talk for days. And then for another days, we'll stop talking. Like, you know, we'll take breaks. She would not take break. So her boundary, my wife's boundary is she should be able to take a break from her friends for a while, like a week or more. And then she should be able to, like, stay home and do her thing. And love home. So... And my and the boundary she's crossing is instead of coming to visit me at work, if I'm working long hours, eight hours, I'm all alone, and I, I hate being alone because I'm all depressed and I don't even want to live, kind of thing. Um, short version of I don't even want to be at work. I just want to be home and I just want to go home. Not like actually not live, live. I want to live. God, okay. Just can't clarify that because you know YouTube. So, anyways. So she would go there, but now that she's finally, not finally, but now that that lady's gone, now she's coming to visit me and spending time with me at work and keeping me company and sane and protecting me from evil people. So, because that's what wife's supposed to do, you know, when your partner is supposed to be there for each other in the bad and the good. But when I'm at work working, working eight hours Closing the store, I hate closing the store. Like, it's my like, most hated thing to do because I hate being responsible for the store. And when I don't close, or when I close early, 8 50, 10 minutes before, people complain and they even knock on windows. They'll knock on a window until you answer them, like, What the fuck? You're not even supposed to be closed, blah blah. Like, they bitch. Literally, I'm telling them, they bitch. And I'm like, I can't handle that. I have social anxiety, goddamn, and I can't handle that. <sighs> so, my wife comes, um, an hour before I close, she hangs out with me until I close to keep me company and to keep my anxiety on the low, low angle, the low bar. Instead of up there where I'm panicking and I could have a heart attack. So she's, you know, so that's what she should be doing instead of picking her friends over me. Um... So that was my boundary, and that's her boundary as well. So now that she doesn't... She still has friends, I promise. Um, but now that she doesn't have those needy friends, um, she feels a lot better. Honestly, like she's told me, she feels a lot better. Like, happier. 
and that she can finally like she can stay home because like honestly friends shouldn't beg you to come over or be mad at you if you say no because i think that lady she would get mad at my wife if she didn't come over and hang um and she'd be like and then if she would have other friends over then that lady would be like oh i hope you have I hope you had fun with your friends like in a way it kind of sounded like she was jealous that my wife had other friends that she can hang out with because she's allowed so that was bad now that's that's a toxic friend relationship that's not good you don't want that so now that she's finally has none of those needy friends she's got her normal friends who don't ask her for anything like your friends shouldn't ask you for anything and those two ladies always asked her for everything like so now that my wife my wife doesn't have those types of friends anymore she's a lot better now she can be herself and do whatever she wants and she doesn't have to worry about her friends getting mad at her for not going to their places or not doing something they want her to do she's a lot better and and I tell her like like I always get mad at her too for going to a friend's place not because I'm jealous I'm not jealous it's because I want her to feel at home here too um because well I don't even feel at home but when I go places I want to come back home so it's kind of weird <laughs> But I know she wasn't comfortable at all being home here. So that's why I was like, she needs to stay home and get used to home and start feeling like home. So she said last night, I think it was last night or this morning, that she is starting to feel like home here. So I'm like, that's good. Now I'm the one who's having trouble feeling like home. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who's having trouble in the first place. But yeah. But I had a lot of moving recently so that was a lot of moving in one year out of my parents house to an evil people's place to another evil person to another evil person to here huh. very bad anyway so she told me to take my time and let my brain relax and just start feeling like home like i need to give my brain time because i have trauma so I need to give that trauma some time to heal, I guess. Something like that, she said. So I said, okay, fine. I'll do that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a long video. I don't even know how long this video is. I feel like it's going to be half an hour. It's going to take forever to load. Probably two hours. How long do I have? I've been 12. <laughs> I have two hours. I better end the video now so I have time to upload this one before I go to work. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's all I have to say. This is what I do every day. It's not exciting at all. I literally just wake up. And. Make breakfast. Well, I make a French cappuccino. And I play video games. Or, well, lately I've been playing a lot of video games. Where I watch TV. And I play games on my phone. So I don't do much. Um, but I don't have a car. Oh, but before I end the video. Speaking about the car. So apparently, um, I'll be getting my dad's car. So uh, he said that that was that he was gonna give me that car from the beginning when he got it. Uh, just waiting for the time, I guess, the right time or something. I don't know. But so they seems like they were approved for a truck yesterday. So I'll be getting the car very soon. Um, so my dad said it's gonna like. Put new brakes on it. She's going to clean it. It's going to fix it a little bit. Make sure it's, it uh, goes through a safety test. And then maybe in about a month or two, that car will be mine. So that's the good news. Um, so we'll see. And I'm going to pimp that car out. Can't wait. I'm going to pimp that car out so bad. <laughs> I'm going to put like, lights in it. Lights outside. No, I'm just kidding. I can't put lights in it. I think, um, but I'll definitely put lights in it, but I'm pretty sure if it's still going on today, if it's still a thing today, that if you put lights on your wheels, it's legal in Canada. So I, I seen that on it. So I looked on Amazon and I seen this little light thingy that you put on your wheel valve 
and then it, once you drive it lights up and you see just it spins and it's like i totally want that but then i read the reviews because it didn't seem like legit legit because it's literally just a cap go in a dark cap and usually they're not that great but it said they're that uh, it's legal in canada so i'm like Shh, well that just sucks so but i've seen people put lights right above their tire like under the I don't know what you call it, but right above the tire, you know? So I'm like, maybe I could do that, maybe? But yeah, so that's what's going on. So I'm definitely going to pimp that car out. Definitely going to put lights on the inside. That's for sure. That's, I'm definitely going to do that. But yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe I'll even put new headlights in it. Because I definitely would love to change the headlights on it to like change color. And I've seen a truck coming down to my gas to the gas station and it had purple lights on literally purple so i'm like maybe i could do that since you know they did they didn't get in trouble yet but yeah so maybe i'll do that and then uh yeah so yeah that's so that's a good news for me i'm definitely gonna pimp out the car can't wait <laughs> and i um, think that's gonna do it for today's video guys or vlog i should say uh, I hope I covered everything. I didn't even know I was going to just talk my ear off. Or talk your ear off. But here we are talking to ears off. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed a little bit. A little bit more of my life. I know lots of people enjoy uh, listening and watching people talk about their life. Or show them whatever they do in their life. Damn it, I got maple syrup on the table. Ah! Damn it! But anyways, yeah, so that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed a little bit. <laughs> Super long, sorry. Um, but I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching and putting me, putting up with me and my bullshit. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! <laughs> and this is the awkward part of trying to <laughs> close the thing.